Blue Whale from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The blue whale, Balanoptera musculus, is a marine mammal belonging to the suborder of baleen whales. It is believed to be the largest animal ever to have lived, at up to 30 metres, 100 feet in length, and 140 tonnes, or 150 short tonnes or more in weight. Blue whales were abundant in most oceans around the world up until the beginning of the 20th century. For the first 40 years of that century, they were hunted by whalers almost to extinction. Hunting of the species was outlawed by the international community in 1966. The current world population is about 10,000, which are located in at least five groups. Before whaling, the largest population, 202,000 to 311,000, was in the Antarctic, but now the largest concentrations are in the Northeast Pacific, the Antarctic and the Indian Ocean, none of which contain more than a few thousand blue whales. There are two groups in the North Atlantic, and at least two, possibly more, in the Southern Hemisphere. Section 1. Taxonomy and Evolution The blue whale is one of seven species of whale in the genus Balanoptera. DNA sequencing analysis, however, shows that the blue whales are phylogenetically closer to the humpback and grey whales than other species in its genus. There have been at least 11 documented cases of blue-fin whale hybrid adults in the wild. Arison and Gullberg in 1983 described the genetic distance between a blue and a fin as about the same as that between a human and gorilla. The Balanoptidae family is believed to have diverged away from the other families of the Mysticite suborder as long ago as the middle Oloncogene. However, it is not known when the members of these families diverged from each other. Authorities classify the species into three subspecies. B.M. musculus, consisting of the North Atlantic and Pacific populations, B.M. intermedia, Southern Ocean population, and B.M. brevicuda, also known as the pygmy blue whale, which is found in the Indian Ocean and South Pacific. Some older authorities also list B.M. indica as a further separate subspecies in the Indian Ocean, but it is likely that most of these blue whales are pygmy blue whales and this designation does therefore not have a listing in the red list of threatened species. Both subdivisions are still questioned by some scientists. Genetic analysis may yet show that there are just two true subspecies. The specific name musculus is Latin and could mean muscular, but it can also be interpreted as little mouse. Linus, who named the species in his seminal work in 1758, would have known this, and given his sense of humour, may have intended the ironic double meaning. Other common names for the blue whale have included the sulphur bottom, Sibyrils rorqual, the great blue whale, the great northern rorqual. These names have fallen into disuse in recent decades. Section 2. Physical Description The blue whale has a long tapering body that appears stretched in comparison with the much stockier appearance of other whales. The head is flat and U-shaped, has a very prominent ridge running from the blowhole to the top of the upper lips. The front part of the mouth is thick, with baleen plates. Around 300 plates, each one metre long, hang from the upper jaw, running half a metre back into the mouth. Between 60 and 90 grooves, called ventral plates, run along the throat parallel to the body. These plates assist with evacuating water from the mouth after lunge feeding. The dorsal fin is small, visible only during the dive sequence. The dorsal fin is small, visible only briefly during the dive sequence. It varies in shape from one individual to another, some only having a barely perceptible lump, while other fins are quite prominent and falcate. It is located around three quarters of the way along the body. When surfacing to breathe, the blue whale raises its shoulder and blowhole out of the water to a greater extent than other large whales, such as the fin or sea. This can often be a useful clue to identifying a species at sea. While breathing, the whale emits a spectacular vertical single column blow up to 12 metres, typically 9 metres, that can be seen from several kilometres on a calm day. Its lung capacity 
is 5,000 litres. The flippers are 3 to 4 metres long. The upper side is grey with a thin white border. The lower side is white. The head and tail flippers are generally uniformly grey coloured, while the back and sometimes the flippers are usually mottled. The degree of mottling varies substantially from individual to individual. Some may have a uniform grey coloured all over, whilst others demonstrate a considerable variation of dark blues, greys and blacks, all tightly mottled. Blue whales can reach speeds of over 50 kilometres an hour, 30 miles an hour, over short bursts, usually when interacting with other whales. But 20 kilometres an hour, 12 miles an hour, is a more typical travelling speed. When feeding, they slow down to 5 kilometres an hour, 3 miles an hour. Some blues in the North Atlantic and North Pacific will raise their tail fluke when driving. The majority, however, do not. Blue whales most commonly live alone or with one other individual. It is not known whether those that travel in pairs stray together over many years or form more loose relationships. In areas of very high food concentration, as many as 50 blue whales have been seen scattered over a small area. However, they do not form large close-knit groups as seen in other baleen species. The size. The blue whale is believed to be the largest animal ever to have lived on Earth. The largest creature known from the dinosaur era is the Argentinosaurus of the Mesozoic era, which is estimated to have weighed up to 90 tons. There is some uncertainty as to the biggest blue whale ever found. Most data comes from blue whales killed in Antarctic waters during the first half of the 20th century and was collected by whalers not well versed in standard zoological measurement techniques. The longest whales ever recorded were two females measuring 33.6 metres and 33.3 metres, 110 foot and 109 foot respectively. However, there is some dispute over the reliability of these measurements. The first whale measured by scientists at the American National Marine Mammal Laboratory was 29.9 metres long, 98 feet, about the same length as a Boeing 737 aeroplane for three double-decker buses. A blue whale's head is so wide that 50 humans would be able to stand on its tongue. Its heart is close to the size of a small car, such as a Volkswagen Beetle. A human baby could crawl through a blue whale's arteries. During the first seven months of its life, a baby blue whale drinks approximately 400 litres that's 100 US gallons of milk every day. Baby blue whales also gain weight quickly, 90 kilograms, 200 pounds, every 24 hours. Even at birth, they weigh up to 1350 kilograms, 3000 pounds, the same size as a fully grown hippopotamus. Blue whales are very difficult to weigh because of their massive size. Most blue whales killed by whales were not weighed as a whole, but cut up into manageable pieces before being weighed. This caused an underestimate of the total weight of the whale due to loss of blood and other fluids. Even so, measurements between 150 and 170 tonnes were recorded of animals up to 27 metres, 88 feet, 6 inches in length. The weight of a 30 metre, 98 foot individual is believed by the NMML to be in excess of 180 tonnes. The largest blue whale accurately weighed by NMML scientists to that date was a female that weighed 177 tonnes. Feeding Blue whales feed exclusively on krill. The exact species of this zooplankton eaten by blue whales varies from ocean to ocean. In the North Atlantic, Meganophytes norvegica, Thyrosina rushi, Thyrosina urimis, Thyrosina longina digula, are the usual food in the North Pacific, Euphuasia pacifica, Thyronessa indermis, Thyronessa longpipes, Thyronessa spinifera, and Nerephines simplex. In the Antarctic, Euphasia superba, Euphasia chrysologirifas, and Euphasia valentini. The whales always feed on the highest concentration of krill that they can find. This means that they typically feed at a depth more than 100 metres during the daytime and only surface feed at night. Dive times are typically 10 minutes when feeding. Diving for 20 minutes is quite common. The longest recorded is 36 minutes by seals in 1998. The whale feeds by lunging forward at groups of krills 
taking the animals and a large quantity of water into the mouth at once. The water is then squeezed out through the baleen plates by pressing the ventral pouch and tongue up against the water. Once the mouth is clear of the water, the remaining krill, unable to pass through the plates, are swallowed. According to Ted Dewan's Inside the Whale and Other Animals, as well as the krill, the blue whale filters small fish and squid. They may even follow something else that was also feeding on the krill. Life cycle. Mating starts in the latter part of autumn and continues to the end of winter. Little is known about mating behaviour or even breeding grounds. Females typically give birth at the start of the winter once every two to three years after a gestation period of 10 to 12 months. The calf weighs about two and a half tonnes and is around seven metres in length. Weaning takes place after about six months, by which time the calf has doubled in length. Sexual maturity is typically reached at eight to ten years, at which time the males are at least 20 metres long, or more in the southern hemisphere. Females are still reaching sexual maturity at around 21 metres, or at around the age of five. Scientists estimate that blue whales can live for at least 80 years. However, since individual records do not date back into the whaling era, this will not be known for certainty for many years yet. The longest recorded study of a single individual is 34 years in the North East Pacific, reported in Sears in 1998. The whale's only national predator is the orca. Calimbrunus et al. in 1990 report that as many 20 25% of the mature blue whales have scars resulting from orca attack. The result of mortality due to such attacks is unknown. Blue whale strandings are extremely uncommon, and because of the species' social structure, mass strandings are unheard of. However, when strandings do occur, they can become quite a public event. In 1920, a blue whale washed up near Bragar on the Isle of Lewis in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. It had been shot in the head by whalers, but the harpoon had failed to explode. As with other mammals, the fundamental instinct of the whale was to try and carry on breathing at all costs, even though this meant beaching to prevent itself from drowning. Two of the whale's bones were erected off a main road in Lewis and remain a tourist attraction. The blue whale is the second loudest animal in the world. Vocalisations The blue whale is the second loudest animal in the world. The loudest is a sperm whale. Estimates made by Cummings and Thomas in 1971 and Richardson et al. in 1995 suggest that the source levels of sounds made by blue whales are between 155 and 188 decibels when measured at a reference pressure of 1 micropascal at 1 metre. Even accounting for different acoustic impedances between water and air and different standard reference pressures, an equivalent sound range in air is 89 to 122 decibels. By comparison, a pneumatic drill is about 100 decibels. A human, however, would likely not perceive the blue whale as the loudest of all animals. All blue whale groups make calls at a fundamental frequency between 10 and 40 hertz. And the lowest frequency sound a human can typically perceive is 20 hertz. Blue whale calls last between 10 and 30 seconds. Additionally, blue whales off the coast of Sri Lanka have been recorded repeatedly making songs of four notes duration, lasting about two minutes each reminiscent of the well-known humpback whale songs. Researchers believe that this phenomenon has not been seen in any other populations. It may be unique to the B. M. Brocuda, pygmy subspecies. Scientists do not know why blue whales vocalise. Richardson et al. in 1995 discussed six possible reasons. One, the maintenance of inter individual distance. Two, species and individual recognition. 3. Contextual information transmission, e.g. feeding, over arm, courtship. 4. The maintenance of social organisation, e.g. contact calls between males and females. 5. The location of topographic features. and 6. The location of prey resources. The list is adapted from the National Marine Fisheries Service Biological Opinion Paper in 2002. Section 3. Population and whaling. The hunting era. Blue whales are not easy to catch, kill, or retain. Their speed and power means that they meant well, their speed and power meant that they were often not the target of early whales who instead targeted sperm and right whales. 
As the populations of these declined, whales increasingly hunted the largest baleen whales, including the blue whale. In 1864, Sven Foyne equipped a steamboat with harpoons specially designed for catching large whales. Although initially troublesome, the method caught on, and by the end of the 19th century, the population of the blue whales in the North Atlantic had diminished. Hunting of blue whales rapidly increased around the world, and by 1925, the United States, Britain and Japan had joined Norway in chasing whales on catcher boats that caught the whales and handed them on to huge factory ships for processing. In 1930-31, to 31, these ships killed 29,400 blue whales in the Antarctic alone. By the end of World War II, populations had been significantly depleted, and in 1946, the first quotas restricting an international trade in whales were introduced. These were ineffective because of the lack of differentiation between species. Rare species could be hunted equally with those found in relative abundance. By the time blue whale hunting was finally banned in the 1960s, by the International Whaling Commission, 350,000 blue whales had been killed, and the world population had been reduced to less than 1% of its total just 100 years before. Population and distribution today. Since the whaling ban, it is not known whether the global blue whale population is increasing or remaining stable. In the Antarctic, best estimates show that a significant increase since the end of illegal Soviet Union whaling, but numbers remain under 1% of their original levels. It has also been suggested that Icelandic and Californian populations are increasing, but these increases are not statistically significant. The total world population is between 3,000 and 6,000, although there is great uncertainty in the available estimates for many areas. The blue whale remains listed as endangered on the IUCN red list of threatened species, as it has been since the list's inception. The largest concentration consisting of about 2,000 individuals, has a northeast Pacific population that ranges from Alaska to Costa Rica, but is most commonly seen from California in summer. This group represents the best hope for a long-term recovery in blue whale population. Sometimes this population strays over to the northwest Pacific. Infrequent sightings between Kamachika and the northern tip of Japan have been recorded. In the southern hemisphere, there may be two distinct subspecies, the Arctic blue whale and the pygmy blue whale, found in Indian Ocean waters. Abundance estimates from the Antarctic stock range from 710 to 1255, quoted in Blue Whale in the Encyclopedia of Marine Mammals. Migratory patterns of these subspecies are not well known. For example, pygmy blue whales have been recorded in the northern Indian Ocean, Oman, the Maldives and Sri Lanka, from where they may form a distinct resident population. In addition, the population of blue whales occurring off Chile and Peru may also be a distinct population. Some Antarctic blue whales approach the eastern South Atlantic coast in winter, and occasionally their sounds are heard off Peru, Western Australia, and the northern Indian Ocean. In Chile, the Sicilian Conservation Centre, with support from the Chilean Navy, is ex undertaking extensive research and conservation work on a recently discovered feeding aggregation of the species off the coast of Shiloh Island. In the North Atlantic, two stocks are recognised. The first found off Greenland and Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, on the Gulf of St. Lawrence. This group is estimated to total about 500. The second, more eastern group is spotted from the Absors in spring to Iceland in July and August. It is presumed that the whales follow the Mid-Atlantic Ridge between two volcanic islands. Beyond Iceland, blue whales have been spotted as far north as Spitsbergen and Jan Mayer, though such sightings are rare. Scientists do not know where these whales spend their winters. The North Atlantic population is between 600 and 1500. Human threats to the potential of the blue whale. Human threats to the potential recovery of blue whale population include the accumulation of polychlorinated biphenyl (PCB) chemicals within the whale's blood, causing poisoning and premature death, and the ever-increasing amount of noise created by ocean traffic. This noise drowns out the noises produced by whales, which may make it harder for whales to find a mate. There are a number of media files associated with this article, recordings of, ver of various blue whales in various regions around the world. The Wikipedia article and this recording of it are released under the GNU free documentation license.